Hey everyone, it's me, Lone, back with a Fight 76 video, and Meet Week is this week. There are a bunch of new rewards up for grabs as part of this public event, and I think the main thing that everyone's going to be gunning for is the brand new Pepper Shaker. It is a hybrid heavy gun slash shotgun in the game. I've previously made a guide video on this gun if you're not sure what it is or how to get it. That is linked in the description below, but TLDR, you just need to complete Meet Week and hope the plan drops. Though keep in mind that this weapon is actually tradable, so someone can actually make you a, a Pepper Shaker, even a legendary one and you can trade it between each other so even if you don't get the plan you're still going to be okay but what i want to do today is make a build video for this new weapon i want to show you the optimal build that you need including per cards and mods and whatnot to maximize this gun and get the most out of it so if this video does help you if you enjoy it please like it i would really appreciate it also keep in mind i've just opened memberships on the channel because we've started streaming recently so if you want to become a member please click join i would really appreciate your help subscribe if you're new but with all that out of the way let's get to the video alrighty first up let's showcase this build and I actually have a few pepper shakers that I can show off to you today they're pretty much all going to get the point across the main one that I'll be using of course is a bloodied one because I am a bloodied bloodied build and this one is not the best bloodied roll out there but it's just you know enough to showcase the potential of this gun but I also have an anti-armor one for you full health builds out there or you know you low health builds that want to use anti-armor against boss enemies in particular um, also also as well, I have a, a Junkies version, um, which is, you know, obviously not as good as Bloodied, so I'll just use the Bloodied. But the important one is that I have a Quad, I actually have two. So Quad is freaking awesome with the Pepper Shaker because it has a relatively low ammo capacity of 50. Um, so when you have the Quad, obviously you have 200. So you are reloading four times as less. It is really, really good with this gun, especially again, when you're taking on boss monsters and you're not needing to reload a lot. So that's why I do like quad with the, with the pepper shaker. I would probably say as well that, you know, just depending on the length of the battle and who you're taking on again, Earl Williams, Scorch, uh, Scorched Earth with Scorch Beast Queen. I would say that quad probably is better in terms of DPS than bloodied, but just, just against, against regular mobs. You probably want to go bloodied or maybe anti-armor but let me just show you case you know what it's like and this is a what level is it um level 100 so this is going to be a pretty good test now i think the optimal way to be using the pepper shaker is in power armor just because it's stabilized and i'll explain that in a second and it's not the most top tier weapon out there or even build out there in comparison to all the other heavy gunner builds out there i would say it's kind of mid to high tier but it's not really comparable to the gauss minigun or other heavy guns like that but it's fun right you know and that's what this game is meant to be about so not at vats build either but let's just see how quickly we can take this uh, guy down remember level 100 and just got wrecked so i've been using i was using uh staggered or uh, staggering per cards as well which is why the behemoth just went down um so pretty quick not as quick as other uh, other weapons as i said but this is going to get the job done it's different i like the fact that it's a hybrid heavy gun and shotgun it mixes it up a little bit especially in terms of the per cards but now let's first some super mutants at west tech Alrighty, we are inside of West Tech, and I want to show you how multiple versions of the Pepper Shaker perform against these level 100 super mutants. I will, of course, showcase the bloodied one to you, but we're going to use the anti-armor as well after a bit, and then probably the quad, just so I can show you how the quad performs, because of course it doesn't have any inherent damage boost aside from the damage boost I'm getting from being a low health build with adrenal reaction and bloody mess and all that kind of stuff. So I want to show you those three, and I think that gives a good kind of example of the a potential and the kind of usefulness of the pepper shaker. So let's go through here and we'll start off with the bloodied. Keep in mind these all have the uh, the plasma magazine mod. I think the plasma is just, you know, for me, I think it's a bit more fun, but you can use the shotgun shells or the laser as well if you want to. But actually, no, these are not level 100. So sometimes this happens in West Tech, but as you can see, like you're, you're killing them very fast. Level 60. Let's see if we can find some level 100s in here. That, that'd be really nice. Um, but yeah, the, these guys, are they're, they're dropping very, very fast. So... See if we can find uh, level 75s. It's still going to be a good comparison anyways. You know what I mean? Um, uh, level 100, right? Let's see how it does against this dude. So I want to jump up. Uh, no, I'm not going to jump up. I do not have um, a jetpack with with my um, power armor. I have emergency protocols. But level 100, Super Mutant Demolisher. I have adrenal uh, adrenaline sorry, running. So they are getting even more damage right now. But that's, you know, 
how you'd be using them in, in regular battles. So I want to make sure that I had adrenaline on. But as you can see, Bloodied performs really well. Like It's like most other heavy guns out there. As a low health Bloodied build, you're, you're doing pretty well. But let's swap. You know what? I'm going to swap to the anti-armor. And just to show you how this one performs. Because it's pretty admirable. Like You're not going to notice much of a difference like, in, in terms of regular mobs. Like They're literally dropping just as fast. Um... So honestly, if, if if you roll a really decent uh, anti-armor pepper shaker, ah, uh, sorry, I was stuck there, so it was a bit funny. If you roll a decent anti-armor pepper shaker, it's going to be just fine. And I haven't tested this against like the Scorch Beast Queen or hey, this is level 100 actually. This is going to be pretty good to test it out on. I haven't tested it against uh, the Scorched Earth or Scorch Beast Queen yet, as you can. Oh, sorry, I missed that, but yeah, dropped pretty fast. There should be another level 100 here. So I'm not sure how it performs against the Queen. I would say that it would perform okay, just based on my experiences here. But in terms of the regular game and normal mobs, like you're going to be having a good time with this. Um, what I'll do now is swap to the quad, just so you can see how it performs um, without anti-armor or, or any of those kind of inherent damage boosts from the weapon itself. And as you can see, it's <laughs> it, it's just it's it's pretty much the same to be honest. Like they're a little bit slower like you can tell it's a little a little bit slower than than bloodied and anti-armor um but still very respectable and obviously the, the beauty with quad is that look at my ammo capacity i still got 174 bullets left in this thing so this thing is really going to come in handy when you just don't want to reload um and, and take on boss monsters in, in you know really prolonged fights i think this is when quad is going to be incredible um so I think that showcases it pretty well. I've, I've got, you know, I'll show you case you a, a two shot as well because I do have a two shot. Um, does this have the mods on it? You know what? This one does not have the mods on it, but that's okay. Like this one is an unmodded two shot just for the sake of it. I just want to show you um, how it can perform. So there are some mods on the pepper shaker that you want um, that can actually increase the damage and, and fire rate and stuff like that. So this is not going to perform as well, um, but I guarantee you it's still going to kill them pretty fast. Obviously a little bit slower, it's using shotgun shells as well, but look, this gun is is a solid mid to, to high tier. Like it's gonna do you really well in, in the in the regular game against normal mobs. So now I wanna go back to my camp and we're gonna show you the actual build um, for this gun. Alrighty, we're in the game and let me show you the build that I've created for the pepper shaker. And then later on, I'll show you the mods that I like to use for this particular gun. Yes, this is a low health bloodied build. It's what I usually cover on my channel because it's what I like to use in the game. Um, but technically the only perk card that actually makes this a low health bloodied build is Nerd Rage. Um, every other perk card that I'm suggesting in this video, you can pretty much use no matter what your build is. So low health, full health, whatever it is, the advice is very general um, and applicable to most builds out there and also play style. So keep that in mind. Also as well, I'm using four legendary special perk cards maxed out because they are pretty much the best. And that's why I'm able to have so many extra perk cards equipped at once. So that might not be you. So I'm just going to tell you the other perk cards that you don't necessarily need to equip when it comes to optimizing and maximizing your pepper shaker. For instance, inspirational is just quality of life. So you don't technically need that for your build. So with that out of the way, I'm just going to show you the, look, I will show you the special spread. This isn't truly, you know, reflective because again, I have legendary special perk cards boosting it. So I would say, you know, have strength at 15 instead, not 10, because I already have an additional five perk points from the legendary strength. So that's not really representative of my build. It's better just to show you this particular screen and what perk cards you need. So starting with strength, usually what you would do when it comes to strength, and, and say you had a, a heavy gunner build, right? Just a heavy gunner, like with a mini gun or whatever. You would you would have master heavy gunner, heavy gunner, an expert heavy gunner, all maxed out and all boosting your damage by 60% additively, not multiplicatively, right? But that's what those three perk cards are doing to you. But as I've said before, the pepper shaker can utilize both heavy gunner perk cards and shotgunner perk cards. So the idea is you want to equip as many of them as you can at once to fully maximize and optimize your pepper shaker. So what I've done is equipped shotgunner and expert shotgunner and master shotgunner. But I've done it in a particular way to maximize the amount of damage I'm getting from these perk cards. So another way you can do this, which is the, the worst way, is by saying, hey, I'm going to have five of these perk cards all maxed out. So master heavy gunner, uh, shotgunner, heavy gunner, expert heavy gunner, and expert shotgunner, right? But when you add those all together, you know, five of them times by 20, that's only giving you a boost of 100% in damage additively. So 
what you should instead be doing is not having a fifth third ranked uh, per card and instead have a two ranked uh, per card and then a one ranked one. And you can do them you know, in any order that you want. It doesn't matter. This is just one way of doing it. But essentially what you want to see is three, 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 two, and one. Because when you add all of these together, together you're actually getting 105% boost in damage instead of 100. So when you go 20, 40, 60, 80, 95, 105, which is obviously more than 100. So this is the way that you're going to be maximizing your damage when it comes to the Pepper Shaker. Um, so definitely do this if you want to maximize your damage. Though there are other perk cards you can equip here. Like for instance, you can have Lock and Load to make your reload speed faster. And also there's a, a Shotgunner one, Scattershot, that actually makes your gun way less and also reload faster. So if you want to use those instead, you can. And there are other Heavy Gunner, Shotgunner perk cards you can use. Um, but I would suggest if you want to maximize damage, going with this method and there's technically a third method if you have a team you can actually have teammates share a third ranked per card that you don't have equipped to maximize your damage even more especially when you have you know three other teammates each sharing a third ranked uh, per card to boost everyone's damage together by sharing them it is very technical and you have to be in a team and everyone needs to be working together. So I'm just going to show you this version of the build. But yes, that is possible. So all the damage boosting per cards in strength. When it comes to perception, you want to have Skeet Shooter. It, this is the per card for shotguns. That means your shotguns and now the Pepper Shaker will have excellent accuracy and spread. So really nice. That's the only really per card that you need in perception. So definitely have Skeet Shooter. Now Endurance, these are a lot of the you know optional ones that I've told you about. You don't need Life Forgiver and you don't need Radical, especially if you're not a low health build with unyielding armor um i don't even know why i have a radical and, and power armor it doesn't really matter anyways i get a little bit extra carry weight that's great so these are definitely the optional ones that i just have for the sake of it also in charisma you don't need inspirational because it just boosts your your experience so you don't really need that um Stranger Numbers is one that I do suggest, of course, if you play in a team. So what this is going to do is boost your positive mutation effects by 25%. So it's something that I generally advise to be using in the game because it's only one point and a lot of people already share this, this per card anyways. Um, this is another up optional one. I like Suppressor because what it does is it reduces your damage target output by or damage output by 30%. For two seconds after your attack and that's after every bullet that lands on an enemy you're reducing their target uh their damage output by 30 percent so it actually makes enemies less deadly which is really effective especially against a, a boss monster like earl williams or scorch beast queen where they're doing a lot of damage just by shooting them you're reducing their damage output which is really nice but technically it is optional so use suppressor if you want but you don't need to use it the main one from charisma that you really need is tenderizer so this makes your target receive 10 percent more damage for 10 seconds after your attack um so you really want to be using tenderizer if you want to maximize your damage in the game 100 percent uh so let's move on to intelligence nerd rage as i said if you're a low health build you want this because it um it, it boosts your damage resist and your damage and your ap regen really really useful if you're not low health you just don't have nerd rage Stabilized. This is why I want to be in power armor for the pepper shaker because what this does it means your heavy guns gain even more accuracy, and it makes them ignore forty five percent of armor. So having your pepper shaker ignore forty five percent of armor is insane when you're in power armor. So that's why I suggest to be in power armor to really maximize this gun. You don't need to be, but I think I think it's definitely the best. Pair it with stabilize, and you're you're doing as much damage as you can with the pepper shaker, especially if you have an an anti armor pepper shaker because those combine together and, and you know make a really really good gun. Um, Here's some of the optional ones that I just like to have, batteries included. The reason why I, I use this is because I have the plasma mag on this pepper shaker. So the gun, the, the ammo that I use, I think it's plasma cartridges, which is technically en energy ammo. So having batteries included just lets me carry a lot of those uh, plasma, plasma cartridges. And same with the, with the laser mag as well. If you're using shotgun shells and not any of those additional mods that you don't technically need, uh, batteries included. Gunsmith, I just like to have because it means my guns break slower and I'm not repairing them as much. I really like Gunsmith, especially because I usually use Demo Expert, but the Pepper Shaker can't get explosive. So I think Gunsmith is, is the obvious thing to swap in, especially when you have a lot of different, uh, a lot of extra perk points to, to use like I do. In Agility, so because we're in Power Armor, you really do need Action Boy maxed out, especially because you can't have, um, well, here's the thing. Like if you have Legendary Power Armor, 
that has the um, the the legendary effect that actually boosts your AP regen. And I, I haven't bothered rolling uh, legendary power armor because I don't use it that often, only really in battles. But if you don't have that legendary effect, just have Action Boy to make your AP regenerate 45% faster. We're not using Vats in this particular build, keep in mind, because there's no point, like really there's no point in using Vats when it comes to the Pepper Shaker. It's fine on its own without Vats. If you want to, you can, but I just like to have Action Boy, especially because I'm suggesting to use dodgy um, especially if you're low health because it means you avoid 30% of incoming damage at the cost of 30 action points per hit so when your action points are reloading fast or regenerating faster with action boy you're using dodgy more so the, I like that combination and then we have enforcer your shotguns gain a 50% stagger 15% stagger and you get a 30% chance to cripple a limb so that's why before that that uh, the behemoth that I was uh, I was shooting was just not moving. It was getting crippled and, and it was pretty much stationary. I really like Enforcer. Um, and again, you can use it because it's a it's the Pepper Shaker. So that's one I would suggest definitely in, in agility, no matter what your build. And then Adrenaline. Again, if you want to max out your damage and, and your your you know potential in the game when it comes to the Pepper Shaker, have this. You gain 10% damage, max 60% for 30 seconds per kill, and the duration refreshes with kill or with kills. And then Dodgy I mentioned. And then it comes to luck. Bloody mess to boost your damage by another 15%. One gun army. This is giving you even more stagger chance and an, you know, even more chance to cripple a limb. So one gun army with enforcer. You're going to have a situation like with the super mutant behemoth before where you're just wrecking it. It's great. Class freak to reduce the negative effects of your mutations. I always suggest this because all of you probably have a bunch of mutations. So you should be using class freak. Um, curator. The reason why I have curator is because I had a point spare and I like to use the big gun bobblehead. And you can be using that, of course, with the Pepper Shaker to give you even more boost in damage. And it means those bobbleheads and also magazines, if you can find one that's applicable, last tr twice as long. So definitely, you know, I definitely like to have uh, Curator because I'm collecting bobbleheads. So that's one that I suggest, but you don't need Curator in your build. Starch genes, you want this to not lose your uh, mutations or gain new mutations. So that's an obvious one. And quick hands. This is a... I would say optional. Um, the only reason why I have it is because, especially with a bloody pepper shaker with a low ammo capacity, just having an 18% chance to instantly reload when your clip is empty, it's nice, right? <laughs> I, I, I definitely think it's it, it's it's a nice to have. It's not a necessity. It's it's definitely not a necessity if you have quad because you have you know 200 bullets in your damn in your damn gun, so you don't really need quick hands. But if you're a bloody user or if you're an anti armor user. Have a think about quick hands, but there's probably a you know a better perk card out there for you if you really want it. So those are my perk cards. Um, the one that I'll suggest as well, which I don't have because I don't use power armor that often, as I said. But the main perk card for legendaries is uh, electric absorption because it, it actually re it, it heals you in power armor essentially when you're getting hit by energy attacks. But you don't absolutely need it. Like power armor is so tanky as it is. I mean, I was using excavator armor before and I was doing just fine. So, but if you really want to maximize your power armor build, at least have electric absorption in there. And then very quickly, I'll show you the, um, the mutations that I have pretty stock standard, you know, again, low health. So I have an adrenal reaction, but all the other ones, bird bones, eagle eyes, egghead, empath, herbivore, herd mentality, marsupial, scaly skin, and speed demon pretty stock standard um choose the the mutations that you want but i don't think i need to go into them in in super detail but i think that about covers it right as you know in terms of the build so let me show you the the mods very quickly that i like to use i've purchased all of them for the pepper shaker so i can just show you um them in the in the weapons workbench let's put that away so i'll modify a pepper shaker that i'm not using the gorman's one why not okay so you have uh, three different, no, four different barrels if you include the standard one. So you have a dual barrel that improves your rate of fire and improve, improves your damage. Hex barrel increases your rate of fire even more, superior rate of fire, but it decreases your damage. And then you have one that means you, you fire more pellets per shot. So I like dual barrel because it's a nice of both worlds. Like you get the improved rate of fire and the improved damage. Um, but I can see why people would prefer um, single barrel because it means firing more pellets per shot which is amazing, especially if you have a vampire weapon, you're getting healed ridiculously fast. So that's one to think about. And then again, with Hex Barrel, um, if you want to get as much fire rate as possible and you're landing all of your shots, that could be better for you in certain situations. All of these are going to do you well, but I like Dual Barrel. Um, magazine, you can use, if you want to use shotgun shells, standard mag, laser magazine um, for, for energy damage. 
you get an additional um boost in, in damage because you get energy damage as well and the same goes with the plasma mag and the exact same in terms of damage on paper and it's just up to you whether you prefer to use laser or whether you pr prefer to use plasma i tend to use plasma in my head i think it performs better but i think they're pretty much you know equivalent anyways you saw how the gun was operating before even without any any mods so yeah use one of them i use the plasma magazine because i like it and then the standard sights or gun sight so use it if you want to and then it doesn't have any skins so that is the pepper shaker i hope you enjoyed this video and let's get to the conclusion Alrighty, way senders that's all from me i hope you enjoyed this video let me know your thoughts in the comments below and until next time this has been the lone vault wanderer please take care of yourselves and would you kindly keep fighting the good fight